Hey folks, this is Vince with Ads Gaming Addiction, and once again, we're going to look at the digital adaptation of the popular tabletop game, Terraforming Mars. It's important to stress that I don't actually own the tabletop game. As much as I love the gameplay, I'm not a fan of the components of the tabletop version. I just find... I've, I've played it once at a gaming store, and some of the components just weren't very well made. But I don't want to bash the tabletop game right out of the gate here. But my point is, is that um, the digital adaptation of Terraforming Mars is coming out. I believe it was October 17th, 2018. So in about a week's time from now. And I'm really excited about it because I see that the game has been updated since I've last played it. And I'm loving it. I played it off camera just now. I'm loving the updates. Um, everything is nice and smooth. Um, I'm sure you uh, veterans of the game will be able to find a nitpick here and there. But um, I just played a game against the AI and I had a blast doing it. I barely won by about seven points. It was like 89 to 82. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, explore this updated version. Again, though, this is a preview build, so everything that you're about to see is still subject to change. So uh, you can resume, you can play a local game, and this is um, AIs or against your friends using the same device, so you can play local multiplayer. There's also solo challenge. I know that there's a solo version on the tabletop version, but I've never played it. So I may try to maybe learn this here at some point. Um, here, you'll try to terraform Mars on your own in a limit of 14 generations. You can also play online, play against others online. And it looks like you need a uh, username and password, which I didn't bother doing yet, but online play is available. There's profile options. Under options, you've got settings, roles, legal, support, tutorial, and credits. Yes, there is a tutorial in the game now. Uh, in my previous videos, I was flying blind. I had no idea what I was doing. I, I kind of still don't, but I, yeah, I'm, I'm getting there. This is my fourth game now. And uh, it, it's, it's, Com complex. It's a complex strategy game. Again, I love the gameplay, but I just wish the tabletop components were a little better. Uh, otherwise, I would have bought it by now. Uh, settings. So sound and music, uh, confirmation pop-up, automatic end turn, planet motion, and animation speed. And also languages on the right-hand side. All right, let's go ahead and play a game against the AI real quick. Um, whenever you add a player, you can choose between human, easy, medium, or hard. We're going to do easy. And there's corporate error rules, and there's also standard game. Now, corporate error means uh, it lets you play the extended version of the game. You start with no resource production with all cards in the deck. Um, I think that's what I actually played against the AI just now. Uh, standard game is a shorter version of the game. Since it's already close to 9 o'clock p.m. EST, I'm going to go ahead and do the standard game because I, I do have to work tomorrow. So, um, yeah, I know. I do have a day job outside of this. Um, so we have the ability to choose between different corporations. There's Beginner Corporation, which gives us uh, 42 starting credits and 10 cards. We can choose Thorgate. You start with one energy production and 48 credits. Uh, when playing a power card or the standard project power plant, you pay three credits less for it. Also, uh, Phobolog, uh, you start with 10 titanium and 23 credits. Uh, your titanium, I think it's mil million credits, whatever. Uh, your titanium resources are worth one uh, million credit more, whatever. I'm just going to call them credits. You, you, I think you guys know what it actually is. Um, I'm tempted to start with uh, the beginner corporation again because I really don't know what I'm doing. Um, it doesn't look like you actually start with any cards playing as Thorgate. And having cards to start with is kind of nice. Um, although having extra energy production is nice because energy turns into heat and heat can be used to raise your terraforming score, uh, and, and the temperature of the planet. And, uh, when playing a power card or the standard project power plant, you pay less money for it. Um, I think we're going to try this. This is my first time not doing beginner corp. So wish me luck. Okay, so now we can buy cards. Um, each card costs three. Uh, this is way too expensive over here to the left. Um, what's this one? Increase your money production by two. Also place a greenery top. That's 23, though. 
to, to play in the first place. I'm looking for something that's going to boost production. Increase your energy production by one step. I see something like this. I'm going to go ahead and buy that, I think. Um, oh, fusion power. We're going to want that. Um, looks like a victory point and a greenery tile. I like that. Plantation. Uh, moss. I remove a plant by increase my step by one. What's this one? Increase your plant production. All right, we'll take this one. Okay. Um, so we've selected four cards, I think. What's this one? Eh, that's not, again, this is a nice card, but I won't be able to play it for a while. It's a lot of money. But increasing my production, my step by two and a greenery towel. You know, I'll go ahead and buy it, and then if I don't use it, maybe I'll use it toward the end of the game. When an ocean tile is played, gain two play. Wow! If I can play that early, I could really make out. All right, we'll go ahead and take that as well. All right. Um, asteroid mining, 30. No, all right. We'll, we'll go ahead and just, yeah. So we spend a lot of money buying those starting cards, but hopefully we'll get something out of it. So I've got 30 mega credits. That's what they're called. Okay, so um, I'm thinking of just upping my energy production right out of the gate um, just so I can start earning some resources. So um, I think we'll go ahead and do that. Um, although I don't know when he's going to start playing um, water cards. I may want to start getting this down too. So, because the, again, the more water that's placed, the more plants I can make out with this. Um, and I also gain a plant. You know, let's, let's play this. Arctic algae. The sooner I play that, I think the better. Because no water tiles have been played. And at least nine are going to be played throughout the game. There must be nine oceans on Mars for the meter to be full. There's three end conditions here. There's... Uh, oxygen, there's heat, and there's water tiles. And all three have to be full in order for the game to end. So by me playing this card now, that guarantees at least uh, 18 plants uh, with each each water tile giving me two. Uh, that's 18 plants that I would get for free from that card. Um, I, I think we're going to do the solar plant. Again, I'm not really uh, spending anything on helping Mars at all right now. Basically, I'm just boosting my resource production. All right, now, there's no actions left. We get two actions per turn, back and forth, and then a round is over when we both pass, and then the generation marker moves up to the next number. Looks like he put a water tile down. There, I should get a plant from that. See? See? Good thing I put that down. I wasn't sure when he'd start doing that. Uh, I'm a newbie, but there's, yeah, there's a method to my madness. Okay, so, I, again, I've got two actions here. Ten, okay, so, increase your plant. I, again, getting your production up early gets the most out of it, I think, because uh, it's more turns you'll have it for, more generations, so. All right, and after this, there's nothing I can really do. Uh, yeah, we're just going to skip. Now, his terraforming score is already 23, so he's pretty far ahead of me here. I'm kind of concerned about that. Although victory points aren't determined by terraforming score alone. It helps, but it doesn't determine it. Okay, so generation two. Although having a higher... Terraforming score early on gets you more money. At the end of every, or at the beginning of every generation, you earn money equal to your terraforming score plus how much income you've got. Uh, do we want to buy any cards? Geothermal power. Again, these should be cheaper for me to play. I'll go ahead and buy that. If I can get a lot of energy and then that convert to heat, I could, I could just, I could raise the the temperature like mad and, and make points in the process. Uh, race terraforming by two. Radchem factory. 
That might be helpful at some point, but I don't know if I'm going to play that. All right, I think that's good. Again, I want to save some money, too. Th those mega credits are going to be necessary for buying cities and other tiles. Looks like he's going for the same thing. He's got an energy production of four over there. Five? My goodness. Okay, fusion power. Um, decrease the cost for sure. Um, at least two power tags. Yeah. All right, so my, my energy's up there. And geothermal. And I'm gonna I'm gonna have so much energy this game. It's, it's gonna be ridiculous. But luckily, again, that site recycles into heat at some point at the end of your turn. So again, I can increase my score that way. And it looks like you both passed here. But if you've seen my prior video, uh, you'll see how far the game has come since then. And uh, again, uh, now I don't really need the, the tabletop game now. I, I don't want to pay $80 for a tabletop game with components that are questionable. Again, I'm not, I don't, I'm trying not to knock this game when I'm promoting it at the same time, but it's just, I call it like I see it as a consumer. And, and I think $80, whatever the price is out there, it, it's inflated for this tabletop version when the components aren't that great. I just think that's robbery. But with the digital one, you don't have to worry about that. I can enjoy the game without worrying about substandard components. Windmills. Uh, what is it with the power? Um, increase your energy production by one step and increase temperature by one. Nuclear power. Decrease your credits by two and increase your energy by three. I don't think we want that. I'll take the windmills. That's a, a victory point there. All right, done. None of us are developing Mars. <laughs> we're just we're just basically going to increase the temperature. That's all we're doing. Um, I, I've got twenty credits. Uh, I, I really can't. Oh, uh, I can't. Oh, okay, so the t the minimum temperature is not four degrees Celsius, so I have to wait on that one. Same with this. That's not. I didn't meet the requirement. With twenty, um, I mean, I could buy a water tile. Um. I could start placing water tiles, although I, I want to start earning victory points, too. I, I uh, well, I, or I could just pass until the next turn and use that money for something else. Although if I put water down now, um, I could possibly get these greenery tiles here. Although I generally don't like placing greenery tiles until I've got a city down. So I you know, we'll pass. I'm gonna I'm gonna save my my mega credits here. Oh, he's losing energy to do something. Probably to increase his terraforming or yeah. Yep. Increased his terraforming score and increased his plant production. All right, so we've put a water tile down. And I got a greenery because of that. But again, I kind of want to save that until uh, I find a place for a city. I think that United, Mars, United Nation Mars Initiative, I think that means you can spend credits... Yes, you can pay three mega credits to raise it by one step more. That's really powerful. I'm, I'm kind of concerned about that. Well, I can put more lakes down and gain victory points in the process. Power grid. Um, oof. That's so much. I, I wonder if I should just go powerhouse this game. Uh, select that. The lakes are nice, too. This increase... Okay, let's do that too. Uh, if we can increase our heat production, we'll take that.
He's just gonna he's his terraforming score is gonna be through the roof this game just because of that corporate ability. Um, let's convert to heat, and we'll decrease the cost. Go seven. Because the more heat we can gain per turn, the better. Um, we have enough for a plant. Again, I don't really want to do that until I figure out where the cities are going. Mm, see, increase mega credit by two steps or power grid. How many power tags do I have? Four. So I would gain four power as the result of this card being played. Again, heat. I'm. I think heat is the way we want to go this game. It it seems to do well with my ability. All right. So I can't. I can't do anything else. I got no actions left. All right. What's he doing? Placing greenery tiles down. So maybe I might want to put a city... I, I want to see where else I can put this city, but... All right, let's start converting heat. And I've got a greenery tile. I, but I, I, I want to see where cities could go first. I, I may wait. Gee, he's just racking that up. Racking that up. Alright. We're gonna pass. Now my uh, power and my heat should be through the roof pretty soon. I mean, it, it should be adding up. Yeah, we're at 19. I can, for every 8 I turn in, I can get one terraforming step. Alright, buying cards. There's shuttles. Hmm. Wait, I, no, I don't think we need any more power. <laughs> I think we've got enough. Um, you know what, let's save our money. I want to save that money for cities, and I want to start earning some victory points here. All right. So, this protected val, again, I don't think we're ready to play that yet. Cities are 25, so I can start playing a city. Um, I want to, I think I'd want to play it somewhere over here, though. Yeah, maybe here, and then put a bunch of greenery around it. I've got enough for, a, yeah. So why don't we do this? I'll start with the city. And put that here. And a greenery tile will go down here. I'll collect two plants in the process. And I earn victory points for having these greenery tiles and city tiles next to each other. So my goal now is to surround the city with greenery tiles. Now it looks like he's continuing to add water. I should get a plant, two plants from that. Yep. Due to that one card that I have. Wow, he is he is climbing the charts. Okay, um let's go ahead and put another one of these down. Get some more plants. Okay. And let's go ahead and convert heat. Up to 24. I have to end my turn, no actions. Let's see if he passes. Oh, he's doing something. Increase your plant production by one step. Alright, again, we can convert heat. Alright, 
You're up to 25. I'm trying to catch up to his terraforming score, if at all possible. Uh, with seven credits left, there's not much I can really do. I, I can't buy anything. Um... Milestones and awards. Can't really do that yet. Milestones and awards are special things that you can invest in to get victory points at the end of the... Excuse me, at the end of the game. Alright, uh, skip. Hmm, yeah. Next generation. Look at all that heat I've got. I have enough for two more heat conversions, I think. We'll see. If I can convert some of this uh, power into something else, that would be awesome. Um, decrease energy by one to increase plant by one. I, I like that. We've got a lot of power. Um, sure. We'll stick with that. I want to save my money so I can get more, more cities and more tiles on the board. Okay, Soil Factory, Protected Valley. Now I could play that. Although, I'd rather have my, my, my greenery production move up sooner rather than later. So maybe this card first. Decrease its cost. Sure. Okay. And the next one, now we could do the protected. We have enough for that. And I'll put that over here and gain a plant for it. Oh, I can put it over here too? Oh, it must. It has to be put on a water tile. Interesting. Oh, well, that works out for me because I'll put it here. And now I think I might have enough to actually make another conversion. Yeah, I do. All right. Okay, um, we'll make a conversion, put this next to my city, gain a plant, and we'll start converting this heat now. Looks like he's gaining power. Did he just give up a victory point? Not sure what that was. The things are moving a little too quickly for me to keep track of, but so it goes. Okay, he's got a lot of power production, but I've got even more. So let's just let's just keep pumping this out. All right, 29 catching up. Nothing else I can do, so we'll just, um, I can't do any of these. Okay, it looks like he has the terraformer milestone. Um, I want to maybe start grabbing these while I can. Five points is five points. I'll have the money next turn to do it. Maybe I'll concentrate on that. All right, well, again, we have to pass. Nothing more we can do. Wow, he's got negative one credits per turn. But again, that's plus the 35 from his terraforming. Nice. Okay, so still don't have enough for three heat conversions. I have enough for two. All right, 
buy up to four cards. Uh, dust seals. I guess that's just one victory point for two credits. That's not too bad. Um, breathing filters. Uh, Eleven for two. That's kind of a stinky conversion. Yeah, we'll buy. But that's five, though, if you think about it. And this is really 14. Because uh, it costs three to begin with. But I... I that... Uh, crap. Do I want the card or not? You know, I'll take it. The one victory point might make a difference down the line. Alright, I'm going to buy these uh, milestones and stuff before he can. I've got the gardener. I've got at least three greenery tiles, so I'll get that. And do I want to invest in any sort of award? I don't think so, not yet. Um... I need to own three city tiles to claim the mayor milestone. Um, I need eight building tags in play, building tags being these things. I've got five. Um, and the other one was planner. 16 cards in your hand when you claim... Oh, I don't have that. So basically, I need two more city tiles, if I, probably. Or just keep constructing more buildings. Um, I could play that now and just get... Eh, it's kind of a waste. Uh, well, I could, I could do another city, and I, I, if I put that, oh, I can't put that down here. I could start building off this. He has a greenery tile here. I could put a city here and get a victory point. Even though it belongs to him, he won't be able to build off of this. Yes, I could put the city up here, but I think these tiles here are reserved. Hmm, well, that, that's a... That's an interesting question. Do I put the city here and get two plants immediately for it? Or do I put it down here and then have more room? Well, it's one, two, three, and this is just one, two. You know, you know I, I, I think we will put the city here. Let's do that. That'll go toward my milestone, too. Okay. And I, I, I guess just end turn. Okay, well, I guess we can convert heat. I mean, we don't have any money, but we can at least increase our terraforming score. Alright, we're slowly catching up on that regard. <laughs> of course, he has to, to one-up me. Yeah, nothing nothing more to do here. Okay, producing. Eight times three is twenty-four, so we can convert heat three times this turn. All right, Gen 8. I'd say we're about halfway done, if not three-fourths. I mean, there's still a lot a lot of things to do over here on the right. All right, Zeppelins, uh, uh, Ants, Advanced Ecosystems. That's three victory points. That's not bad, but I think I need these cards before I can actually play it, which I don't have. All right, not, we'll save our money. And uh, focus on getting our, our city surrounded. Oh, he's building more water tiles. I should get some more plants from that. 
I did. Okay, so what do we do first with uh, 38 credits? Uh, windmills, uh, it's a victory point for... That's not bad. Um, let's actually play that. I'll take the one victory point. Alright, and that gives me another power too. Um, let's go ahead and claim more of these tiles before he does. I'm thinking this one up here. That'll make my cards cheaper. That'll earn me another victory point at the end of the game for having a greenery next to a city. Raising the temperature, create a new ocean. Select where you want to place it. Uh, right here is fine. I'll get two plants for that. That, that, that corporate ability is brutal, I gotta say. Uh, well, we can put this down, um, place two ocean tiles. We can get two victory points out of it, but that would speed up the end of the game. I don't know if we want to do that. You know, let's convert first. Why don't we do that? Let's, let's. Get our heat converted. I want to see what he does. If if I can get a city right here, that would earn me a bunch of victory points. Hopefully he does not play a city there. He doesn't have enough money for it. Oh, he's putting a city over here. That's weird. But yeah, I can capitalize on these greenery tiles here if I can get a city right here. Um, projects. Yeah, we'll put a city down. And that'll also go toward my milestone that I've got. There we go. And with 16 mega credits left... I can do this one and gain... I can put down a greenery tile. No, why don't we do that? Uh, or, or, milestone. We want to claim that. That's five victory points. I, I'm not going to pass that up. No, it doesn't look like I can actually convert heat anymore. I'm wondering if that's because the temperature is now at full. Now, that's actually a problem because I was using that to increase my terraforming score. So now I have to rely on other things to give me victory points. All right, well, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, no, just we'll end, we'll pass. We're going to have to rely now on these greenery tiles in helping us out. I have to find another way to use that heat now, I think. If that's even possible. I'm sure some cards actually convert power and heat into other things. So if we can get one of those cards, that would be awesome. Okay. Um, decrease your heat production by any number of steps and increase your... Uh, that's not bad. It's ex Raise your terraforming by two. Increase your plant production by one step and gain one plant. I like that. And solar... No, I don't need that anymore. It's one victory point. Although it's cheaper for me to, to buy these now, I think. I, I, I think we want this one, though. 
And do we want the solar plant for the victory points? Yeah, let's... Well, that's 11 credits almost. But again, it should be cheaper. Yeah, all right, let's... It's getting late and I want the game to end so I can go to bed. <laughs> all right, my turn. Uh, let's see. So, cards... Let's get these victory points in while we can. Um, I'll, I'll use that last. Nice. Um, I'll go ahead and convert now. I'll put this here. Or... Yeah, I'll, I'll put this here. I, I, I need as many greenery tiles as possible to earn more victory points, so I gotta keep putting those down. He's got greenery tiles, but he's not putting any... He's got one city to the right there. He did feed off mine, but I still think I'm winning that race. Okay, um, Mangrove, one victory point, yeah, we'll use that, another victory point, uh, we have to put that on one of these, huh, um, well, I don't need any more titanium. Well, can I cancel? I didn't realize I did... Okay, well... I don't want to build off his, so... I guess I'll go with the plant here. At least I got a plant out of it. Alright, and we want to convert heat... All right, so, yeah, we don't need any more heat, I don't think. I'm going to go ahead and just convert all of it. There we go. Now we're up to 14. That should give me some buying power in future rounds. Although the game is almost over. What with temperature being full, oxygen's almost full, and now we've got five out of nine water tiles. Okay. 13 credits. Uh, I could buy the solar plant. Is that going to be cheap, though? Yeah, I can decrease the cost and make it worth... So I can get one victory point for the cost of two. Why not? And... Uh, do we want... Own the most tiles in play... I could start doing these milestones. I think I've got the most tiles in play. I'm going to go ahead and take the landlord, fund that, and enter. Alright, with no money left, is, I can't... What am I going to do? Alright, so oxygen is now completely full. Now it's just a matter of adding more water tiles. I've got that one card that'll do it. So I can possibly speed along the game here and, and end it soon, but I kind of want to get my money spent on those other awards if I can. Make him spend the money on the water. Okay, um... Power can convert... Spend one energy to gain one mega credit. Eh, no. Capital. Uh, four ocean tiles placed. Decrease your energy production by two steps. Increase your... No. That's 26. Comet. No. All right. 
We'll pass. Okay. What's he doing? Oh, he's putting water down. Looks like he's putting that up here for some reason. Kind of weird. That, that terraforming thing is going to kill me. Okay, um... 55, uh, uh, this could end it, I, but this will gain two victory points. I don't know if I want to do that. Um, let's, let's wait. Let's put this down uh, here, gain a plant from that. And another award. Banker, have the highest mega credit production. I've got 14, what does he have? He's got zero. All right, I think I think we can safely invest in that. Okay, and I have to end my turn. Nine out of nine water tiles. Um, I wonder if I should play as many things as I can now before I'm... Wow, what happened to his victory points? Oh, it's six. Okay, I thought it said zero there for a minute. Oh, that's mine. How did he... Oh, minus one. Biomass, combustors, and heat trap. So he played cards that were actually worth negative points. Interesting. Okay, um... I've got 41 credits. Uh, scientist, have the most science tags. Uh, have the most heat resource. I've got 37. Have the most steel and titanium. I've got the most. Um, heat resource, his is uh, 20. Yeah, I don't trust that. Have the most heat resource. Now that's going to be 20 to do that, and this is 18, that's 38. Okay, so I have enough for both, actually. Um, award. Let's do uh, science. Let's take a look at the science tags. I've got s two. He's got one. I still think my titanium, I'm not using it, so I think I'd have the most and would win that. Award, so I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, most steel and titanium resource. We'll go ahead and take the minor award, and we'll also play this card. That gives us two victory points. Um, which I there's we're out of water tiles, so that, that yeah. So we just played it for the victory points, basically. All right. Um. Yeah, with three credits left, there's nothing really to do. Can't play this one, unfortunately. All right, end turn. He's got the terraforming score on me, no doubt about that. I might be able to beat him with victory points and the greenery tiles and some of these other things, but we'll see. It's going to be very, very close. I'm currently 16 points behind him on that, so I, I really have to come through on something else. Okay, so I can do one more plant conversion, which um, I think we... I, oh, wait. As an action, yeah, I can play this uh, here. This will be one extra victory point for me. And done. All right, let's see what happens, shall we? Yeah, his terraforming rating blew mine away. All right. Nice, nice. 
greenery tiles. Yes, cities, absolutely. Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, so he had the terraforming score, but nothing else. And I was I managed to pull ahead in other places. Um, here's a breakdown of that. His terraforming rating, definitely better than mine. I had the awards, I had the milestones, I had um, greenery, cities, victory points, and that, that did it. All right, folks, so I got to say, um, if you were thinking about buying the tabletop game, but didn't want to pay the 70, 80 bucks to, to do it because the game is inflated right now um, because of how popular it is, then you may want to take a look at the digital version because it plays well. Uh, the computer provides a decent challenge. And that was just on easy, mind you. Um, and again, there's a tutorial in here. There's solo challenge, online, local multiplayer. Um, so definitely, definitely go for this. If you're into t tabletop games at all and uh, can handle moderate difficulty Euro games, then take a look at Terraforming Mars. So there you go, folks. Hope you enjoyed this. If you guys want to see more gameplay, let me know. If you guys haven't already subscribed to my channel and check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching. And